today we'll be talking about fingerlings versus um, juvenile. Now for uh, newbies, people that are just coming into the catfish business, I would like to advise you that um, the best catfish to stock in your pond is the juvenile catfish, not the fingerlings. Now usually when the catfish are growing up, okay, you have the fry, that's after they are hatched, the earlier stage is the fry, followed by the uh, pre-fingerlings, then you have the fingerlings, and you have post-fingerlings, and you have juveniles, and you have post-juvenile, then some people have a term they call jumbo, okay? So, the fry and the fingerlings is very, very uh, risky, okay, for people that are just coming into catfish farming. So, when you want to stock your fishes, okay, we don't, uh, you don't order for, no, usually they are cheaper, they can cost as low as 10 naira, 15 naira, for a single juvenile, I mean, a single fingerling or fry. But one thing about them is if you are a fresher in this business and then you take 1,000 fry or 1,000 fingerling, at the end of the day, the amount that we get to juvenile might not be up to 500 because it requires serious management and care. But if you are coming in afresh, all you have to do, our advice is that you go and get the juvenile. The juveniles have been kept by the uh, the archers, the catfish farmers, who are experienced and are trained in that. So, because of their training, they know how to keep the fry and keep them to fingerlings. Then, you, you just go there and acquire it at um, the juvenile stage. And usually, for African catfish, juvenile prices ranges from 25 naira to 35 naira, depending on the state you are in. Okay, some states sell as low as 25, while some as high as 35 naira. So when you get this uh, juvenile and then you introduce them into the water body, because of their growth, they are able to withstand adverse conditions. So they will survive more. You have a lower amount of mortality than when you are keeping uh, uh, fingerlings or fry. So fingerlings from the name, fingerlings means they will be as a finger length. Okay, they will be as fingerling. That's where the name is gotten from. But when you talk of juvenile, they are a little bigger than the uh, fingerling. So they are bigger than the finger. That's what it means. So, but they are young catfish that are strong enough to withstand uh, adverse conditions that may be posed them in the new environment. So it's better to keep a uh, juvenile for a fresh uh, catfish farmer who is just coming in into the business. And then a juvenile can be as uh, old as four weeks and above. So from four weeks upward, you can start classifying them as juvenile. But from the first week, they are fried. The second, third, and fourth week, you now talk of fingerlings, pre-fingerlings, fingerlings, and post-fingerlings. Uh, those are the little differences between juveniles and um, catfish. I mean, um, fingerlings, catfish. Thank you very much.